In this video, you'll learn how to invite your shortlisted applicants to interview using NHS Jobs. Once the scoring and shortlisting has been completed, the job listing will now be in the Interviews section of your employer dashboard. From your dashboard, select the Interviews link, and then select the Invite to Interview for the relevant job. Then, select the Invite to Interview button. Read the information on the page, and when you're ready to get started, select the Continue button. First, select whether your interview will be in person or carried out by remote video. If you choose to hold the interviews in person, you'll be asked if this is a panel interview or an assessment centre. Just select the correct option and then select the Save and Continue button. If the interview is held in person, you'll be asked to confirm the interview location. If the interview isn't at the same location as the job, just select No and then enter the postcode and choose the correct returned address. You can still manually add the address if it isn't returned from the postcode search. If you choose remote, you'll need to send the remote joining details to the applicants by email outside of the NHS job service. Once you've made this choice, select the save and continue button. Now, confirm if the interviewees will need to do a presentation, and if they do, provide the details of the presentation and select save and continue. Next, you'll need to confirm the contact details for any questions about the interview. If you don't see the person listed who you want to add as a contact, you can select none of the above and you'll be able to add the new details. But, if the details are there, select the person that you would like to add, then select the save and continue button. You'll need to set up at least as many interview slots as you have interviewees. The NHS job system will let you know how many applicants you have to interview. You can set up one slot at a time, or you can set up multiple slots throughout the day as shown here. You can choose the interview date, the time of your first interview, the number of slots and the duration of the interviews. You can also add in breaks as well as a break for lunch. Once you're happy with your interview slots, select the continue button. The NHS job service will then automatically set up your interview slots for you. You still have the option to change or delete your slots, but once you're happy, select the save and continue button. You'll then be asked if you would like the interviewees to be able to request a different date and time. This allows you to be more flexible for the applicant and may mean that you get a better chance of getting the best person for the role. And confirm who the interview lead is. Only the interview lead can add feedback for each interview, which must be added before any offer can be made. You'll then be asked if you would like to add anyone else to the interview panel, and you can have a maximum of 10 people. You can now check and change any of the information you've added so far, and once you're done, select the Send Interview Invites button. Once you've sent the interview invites to your shortlist, they'll be able to choose a date and time from your interview schedule, and you'll be able to see who has selected an interview slot and who has not selected one yet. You can either return to your dashboard or manage your interviews by selecting the Go to Interview Management button.